Money Matters is sponsored by Strategic Wealth Designers. Understatement to say the pandemic has impacted everybody this year. One in four baby boomers say they are delaying retirement due to the uncertainty surrounding their investments. Fox 59's Angela Ganote sat down with Mike Reeves from Strategic Wealth Designers to discuss portfolio plans for people who are nearing retirement. Mike, why are baby boomers delaying retirement? Is it that people haven't built a financial plan or they have one and right now it's failing them? I think the answer, it, it's both really, because what you have, some investors, they just throw money at it. They've got a hodgepodge of different investments, no real idea how to tie these together. When they come and see us, I see a shoebox full of statements. They really need to be more focused. On the other hand, some investors, they do have a plan, but they haven't done a really good job on the budget, and the budget is the key to a financial plan. They've not been realistic, so they truly don't understand how much they have to save in order to put them in a, a good position in retirement. Yeah, nobody wants to work longer than they have to, right? Or what they should, you know, what should baby boomers do then to get the retirement plans back on solid ground? I think the best thing you can do is have a more blended approach. And when I say a more blended approach, a lot of investors, they have stocks, they have bonds, and that's it. There are other asset classes that should be included in that mix. You also want to have some safe investments. And the way you understand how much you should you should have in safe investments versus market risk, you use an old rule, the rule of 100. And in that rule, uh, you take your age, let's say you're 60, that's the amount of money that should be in the safe investments. You take 100 minus 60, and that's the amount of money that can be at risk in the stock market. This will also give you an opportunity to withdraw money from an account that won't be down in value when the market falls. And Social Security is another wild card we hear all the time, concerns that funding is going to run out. With that in mind, should baby boomers draw as soon as they're eligible? What do you tell people? Uh, it's complicated. You really need, need to do an analysis of Social Security to understand that because there are rules that are associated, associated with it. For instance, if you take it early and you continue to work, they can claw back some of that benefit. So you want to do that analysis to understand that part. The other thing you should be doing is not counting on the government to pay for all your retirement income, maybe 30 percent or 40 percent. That's really it. The the rest of that income should come from money that you've saved through 401k, through uh, 403b, take advantage of that match. Try to put away at least 10% of your paycheck into investments. That way you'll have a really fun and robust retirement. Well, Mike, we appreciate the conversation. We'll see you next time. See you next time. For more information on this topic or any other money saver, head over to fox59.com and click on the Strategic Wealth tab.